Hello guys, today I want to talk to you guys about the different type of fans that you need for your computer and what type of computer you are building. This is a fan guide of what you want to get. So I have plenty of fans right here, all over this table and one right here and I'm going to go through all these fans and explain to you guys which fans do you need. Now there are static pressure fans, there are and there are airflow fans. Okay. Now static pressure it's for let's say coolers for radiators when you're doing all-in-one cooling, uh, water cooling or custom cooling. Most of the time you want to go with Corsair SP120s and I'm going to explain to you guys why. And I'm going to explain to you why it's very important what type of fans do you use on your computer. I'm going to start off with this fan right here. This fan right here, it's the Corsair, okay, Corsair Airflow AF. When you buy it online on eBay or Newegg or Amazon, you are going to see the difference that it says AF or SP. Okay guys, so this fan right here is the Corsair Airflow 120 millimeter fan. These fans right here, most of the time, I would use them on a front open case, like a front panel case. Now, this one right here, it's the same fan, the same structure, it's designed for the same thing, which is airflow. Okay, these fans right here move a lot of air, okay? And that is the most important thing. You need plenty of air into your case. Okay, but what do you do when you come across and you buy like the uh, the NCXT H440 case that has a very limited air intake because it has a closed front panel? Okay, what do you do in that case? Well, in that case, even though that case comes with three pre-mounted fans in front, they are supposed to be ah here they are. This is a Corsair. I mean, this this right here is the NCXT H440 fan that comes uh, pre-installed on the front. These fans right here, guys, I do not recommend. Even though it's a little bit, even though it's supposed to be um, static pressure. And what is static pressure? I want to explain to you guys what is static pressure. Well, static pressure is if you have something close right here. It's gonna blow pl plenty of air back here, regardless of the limited, of the limited space that the fan has to suck air in, like multiply the air. Okay, so these fans right here, I tested them and they did not convince me when I was doing a Snow White. So what I end up doing, what I ended up doing, I bought these fans right here. This here, it's the Corsair SP120. Um, high pressure okay these fans are loud and they blow a lot of air and you can see right here how these fans right here pretty much they cover everything as you can see that they go from side to side there's only like two millimeter distance in here so these fans right here regardless if you have this much of a space okay regardless if you have this much of a space the fan is still going to create pressure and it's going to move the air it's going to move air regardless of what in comparison to this right here this right here is the corsair airflow okay these fans will not move air if they don't have plenty of space in front so what you want to do is if you buy a case that doesn't have a front open panel like i made a video clearly made a video the link is going to be in the description you need to get one of these fans right here the static pressure fans now you can get the low rpm 1500 or you can get the higher rpm i think it's 2300 rpm which is this fan right here this fan is been so fast and so loud let me see if I can connect it right here. I'm gonna do a, a little demonstration for you guys. Okay, and I'm gonna continue to explain what type of fence do you need to buy, okay? Shoot, no, this one is not it, this one is not it. This one is the low RPM, this one is the high RPM. Here it is, okay? This is the fan that I was talking about. Check it out, guys. You see this fan? This right here, it's a 2300 RPM. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be so wrong, but if I'm wrong, I'm gonna, I'm going to put it right here on the screen, okay? So, here is this fan right here. Okay. 
regardless of the limited of space that is in here there's still air getting blown see that and it makes a lot of noise let me see that you can hear the noise anyway guys so that is what you want to do when you buy a case make sure that you have the right that you buy the right the correct the correct fans now these fans right here this is another airflow fan you can see right here you'll learn to recognize them the these here are for airflow i mean these fans will move a lot of air you can see right here on this computer the dark one you can see that i have one up here i don't know if you can see it on camera right now but for for airflow moving for exhaust for air intake like i have on the front panel of this computer i have two of these here uh, to a uh, Corsair 140 millimeter fans and they are airflow because the front panel it's open so what is the main topic of this video what is the main point of this video buy a fan according to the to the case and according to the, to the radiator now for the H100i I'm seeing some people that are going with this type of fans some people are are going to buy these type of fans the, the corsair because they look nice because they have good led looking see that this fan is very silent okay very very silent and it moves a lot of air okay it moves plenty of air but this fan is not recommended to use for water cooling it's going to be a complete fail and i'm going to tell you that for experience uh if you notice on my first the first video that i did of the dark one I was using two of these fans, okay. I was using two of these fans. Pull, uh, actually, I was using four, okay. Pull and push configuration with this thing. I said, well, there's gonna be four fans. I'm not gonna have any problem. But the 5820K, the, the Intel i7-5820K, it heats up really well. So guys, do yourself a favor. Buy a static pressure fans. Now these fans right here, these are the fans that come for for the H100i or for any other fan. I mean, or for any other radiator. Now, these fans right here are loud as shit. Oh, I can't connect that in there. Jesus Christ. Anyway, guys, so this fan right here, these fans are very, very loud. Okay, and that's something not really great. What do you want to do? Okay, make sure that for water cooling, you buy static pressure fans. Like these ones here. This one here is low RPM. Okay, this one goes up to 12, uh, 1200 RPM and um, very good fans. I use these fans everywhere. I use this for the Corsair H100i and every time I have the opportunity to build a computer, I use these fans. Now I have plenty of fans in here, so many fans in here and I have boxes down here and I have more boxes in here. I have so many fans guys that I can, I can, man, I, I have so many fans. <laughs> so guys, what I want to tell you the difference is a static pressure fans is for radiators if you have any doubts there's a video that j2cents made there's also a video of J, j2cent computer you can see that all he has is a static pressure fans for his radiators because you need that type of air okay now here is the 200 millimeter fan okay these fans right here are only for airflow i mean these fans can move a lot of air like I have right here on, on the dark one, you can see right here. I have the two fans blowing in, okay? The two 140s. And this one multiplies the air and it blows it right behind the graphics card. Now you used to have the dual uh, SLI configuration here and it was it, it would work so perfect. The temperatures would not reach higher than 75. But anyways, so these fans right here, guys, are, I, I believe these ones are 1200 RPM, but these ones here are 20, no, 1700 RPM, I think, and they blow a lot of air. I mean, they move a lot of air. So when it comes to building computer, guys, regardless if you're going full water cooling, custom water cooling, or if you're going air cooling, you need to buy the right fans. These here are for air moving. When, like I said, whenever you buy fans, they are a static pressure, then it's abbreviated as SP, like Corsair SP, or if you buy any other fans, make sure that they are SP fans. Okay, now check this fan right here. This fan right here kind of confused me, and I'm not sure if it's 
static pressure or not and I have been doing tests and I and I have to say this fan right here is only for airflow because I tested it with the Corsair H100i on my Intel i7-4790K and I tested it and this fan right here I have a little bit of air it's like in between this one is the Cooler Master fan okay very very good looking very good looking and um this fan right here guys is very good moves a lot of air if you are going to buy the corsair h100i or the corsair h60 or the ncxt n61 you know the those coolers make sure that you buy the right fans because that the ones that they send you they're kind of crap you have to get your own so for 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 radiators don't forget you have to get static pressure fans like these ones See, like these fans right here these are static pressure regardless of the limited space of blockage of air regardless of that these fans are going to do the job for you they have done it for me and i am so thankful i am so glad and i have learned so many things about fans that's the reason why i have so many fans in here i like to make sure that my computers are well airflowed so <laughs> guys if you have any other question about fans or anything like that please drop your comment down below i am here to help you go to my uh, uh, facebook page and anybody that has a question anybody that needs a little help with anything i am here to help you guys out so i'm here to reply to you i am here to just just to do absolutely everything guys thank you guys for watching this video i hope that this video helped you out make sure you buy static pressure fans don't forget that